That's in the Lynn Valley area along the North Shore. So yes, heavy rain there through the overnight, but not just then. It's been really uh, raining since about Sunday. So these are totals from Sunday through Tuesday, not including North Vancouver, but North Vancouver picked up the 80 millimeters. West Vancouver, 102. Uh, Vancouver Harbor, 75 millimeters. The airport, only about 40. Abbotsford, 55. So this is over the last few days. You got a break through much of the day on Tuesday from the rain, but more is coming. There's another system on your doorstep step and then more active weather through the weekend as well. So here's what it looks like Wednesday through Friday in the darkest color in this red. That's the uh, 50 to 90 millimeters and in some areas even more so than that. Uh, as we go for, farther up the coast, we're seeing the heavier rain and the stronger winds as well. So this w wind warning is in place for your Wednesday afternoon. Come Local high school had to be closed on Tuesday. It is uh, being reopened, though, for Wednesday. Some good news there. You know, a lot of people working hard, firefighters, uh, city staff, neighbors as well, trying to uh, clean up the area. But lack of snowpack is part of the problem. The snow on the mountains actually acts a bit like a sponge. So when this rain has no sponge to soak it up, it comes right down the mountain through the creeks. They can't handle it, and that's why we saw that flooding through the overnight. Uh, these are rainfall totals from the month of October. So already we're looking at well above average. Vancouver, uh, close to 180 millimeters of rain, 50 to 90 plus. This is expected Wednesday through Friday, so it's not over yet. You got a break on Tuesday, but more rain is coming. Let's go to Edmonton. We can see the gray skies there. Temperatures cooling and then rebounding again by Thursday, but high pressure moving in for the most part. Cool start to the day on Wednesday with wind chills. This will be your afternoon, so you'll have some sunshine, which is nice. Uh, Brooks, 7 degrees. Medicine Hat, 8 Celsius, not too bad. And Wednesday morning in these other locations to the north, uh, a little on the chilly side as well. So temperatures as we get through the afternoon, fours and fives. So nothing you can't handle for November, and it'll be nice to see the sunshine as well. These are your temperatures as we head a little farther to the east. Saskatoon, zero feeling like minus six. Brandon feeling like minus four. And Winnipeg feeling like minus five. But for the afternoon, temperatures bump up at least above the freezing mark in southern areas. A little unsettled, though, rain snow mix expected. Okay, coming up. Let's start this look at the national forecast with highs from Tuesday across the country. The hot spot in the entire country was Lytton, B.C. at 16.6 degrees. 13 in Calgary, that's above seasonal. Yeah, by a lot. Uh, Montreal, 11.6. Warm in Toronto. Normal daytime highs are 9. Uh, Winnipeg, only 4.1, but 2 is what's normal for this time of year. Okay, so enjoy the little break across the east. We do have a nor'easter again headed your way. Ontario had uh, some wet weather on Tuesday for Wednesday. Area of low pressure moving in, but it's Thursday when you're really going to feel its effects. So that is going to be combining with another area of low pressure moving up from the U.S. and together, boom, we've got another nor'easter. This will be primarily rain for the Maritimes in Newfoundland and snow in Quebec because that's where the colder air is. In the meantime, uh, after two days of wet weather on the West Coast, Friday looks actually pretty good. And when we look at the middle of the country towards Manitoba, rain, snow mix, and then colder air to follow. So here's Halifax's seven-day forecast. Uh, not too bad. Pretty calm until we get to Friday, and that's when things change with that uh, next nor'easter moving in. Montreal, temperatures a little on the cool side Thursday and Friday, but look at Saturday, three degrees. Yes, temperatures are really going to change, especially into next week. Toronto's same thing for you. There's that rain Thursday and temperatures dropping as we move towards the weekend. So part of the problem was the lack of snowpack on the North Shore Mountains. So without the snow, the rain that falls just comes right down the mountains and overflows the creeks. They're not able to handle all of that precipitation. The snow would act like a sponge normally, so that wasn't the case. And then, of course, you've seen a lot of rain. This is just from t Sunday through Tuesday. West Vancouver picking up 102 millimeters. In 24 hours, North Vancouver saw 80 millimeters of rain. So 80 millimeters, short period of time, no snowpack, all of these things combined to bring the flooding to that community. Uh, more rain on the way Wednesday through Friday in the rust color. That's 50 to 90 plus millimeters of rain. We've got some strong winds as well. Uh, winds picking up through the afternoon central and north coast. Some snow through the overnight hours pushing a little farther to the east this time into Saskatchewan, but not big snow, five to eight centimeters possible. But 
high pressure will be building in behind that, so we'll get a, a couple of days anyway of calmer weather. Hey, thank you for this. Great illustration of how blustering it was, uh, but it was warm, wasn't it? Yeah, temperatures uh, on the mild side on Monday. Tuesday, this is what it looked like. We had some cloud cover, a few showers. We've got another system moving in for Wednesday, so here it comes, but very, very light for you in Newfoundland. Uh, as we head farther north, western shores of Newfoundland, a little more rain, uh, but this will be more of a Quebec Labrador system as far as uh, actual accumulation amounts. Okay, so 5 to 10 millimeters of rain, western areas of the province. Uh, Cape Breton may see a couple of millimeters, and then Anticosti, the Gas Bay, 5 to 10 millimeters of rain. It'll be quite uh, gusty. A little bit on the uh, on the gloomy side, though. Could see a couple of breaks on Wednesday, but we will also have a passing shower for the area. Uh, 10 degrees for a high. So Montreal looks like this over the next few days. We've got a couple of showers on Wednesday, heavier rain Thursday, Friday. Finally, the sun returns, but only to have temperatures drop on Saturday as well. Uh, and it had been raining for most of the evening. But that is coming to an end. And uh, by Wednesday, clearing out. So here's Tuesday. Temperatures on the mild side. St. Catharines getting all the way up to 16 degrees. Fairly mild there. Uh five millimeters through uh through the overnight into wednesday after that it clears out but we've got another little system moving uh across eastern areas of ontario into quebec okay we're going to take a look into the future the long ranger is coming up after this november's arrival marked winter's revival across canada the scary motion pictures on around the world in 60 seconds whether you were in the prairies, Ontario, or Atlantic Canada, November's arrival was marked with snow. While winter isn't here yet, snowfall totals of 30 centimeters were a common sight. Summer is close if you're in the southern hemisphere. People in southern Australia got a preview when a powerful thunderstorm brought torrential rain and lightning. 80,000 lightning strikes were recorded in 24 hours. Quick thinking is a rescuer's best weapon, and it came in handy when a man in southern China became stranded by fast-moving flood water. Rescuers pulled the man into an excavator bucket after securing him to a rubber ring. We think of Hawaii as an amazing place to live, but for residents of the town of Pahoa, that may not be the case. It's time for Around the World in 60 Seconds, and we start in Sunset View Beach, Saskatchewan. If you're a skier or snowmobiler, the first snow of the season is a welcome sight. If you don't like winter, well, not so much, especially if it accumulates like it did in Mark's Day, Ontario recently. It was a rainy Halloween in southern Ontario, and it snowed in the Nickel Belt. In Owen Sound, this homeowner spared no expense to thrill trick-or-treaters. There were creature comforts to be had at Halloween as well, quite literally. This squirrel in Ottawa didn't think twice about tucking into some fresh pumpkin seeds, even if it meant getting his snout messy.